Good morning gang, Monday morning and uh, you find me on my next job. Now this one is basically rebuilding some piers. Um, three piers, they're only a brick wide. So it's, what you can see there, it's two bricks long, one brick wide. Um, yeah, the inevitable happened. Um, you can guess what I'm going to say, being not very wide. Um, they've got six foot fence panels between them. Um, you'd think it'd be quite sheltered because the house is literally here and this side is just trees and shrubbery and yeah, you'd have thought it'd have been quite sheltered but the old uh, the storm we had got hold of the fence panels, pulled all three piers down. So all I've done this morning is I've come in, <coughs> set up, um, and I've actually put profiles up on the two end piers and then just running a string line straight through the middle. And I'm going to build all three piers at the same time. Um, not many people have put profiles up on piers, to be honest. And uh, I wouldn't normally, but I thought I've got them. I've got all the clamps, I've got timber. Why not? Just, yeah, why not? <laughs> um, I could have bought, just built three piers straight up, just built it all level work, but I thought if I could get the profiles up, just make it easy for myself. And it's just a case of plumbing up everything. Um, yeah, last week had some new bits arrive. So we've got water boards, some more new stands. As you know, I already had, already had this one, but I've got four of these four of these boards now uh water boards i've been using timber cutting timber up out of ply but after a couple of months it all starts separating so now these are going nowhere and they've got the company name engraved in them um so yeah we've got some more more stands stands are from rhino build um great product sturdy on most ground to be honest um i did have some homemade batten um profiles and um, board stands but you're never going to beat the real deal so yeah if you want them head over to rhino build um and the boards smp boards i found them on instagram um, and you can have your company company name engraved in them and uh they're nice and lightweight as well like i said you can get your get your company name put in them they're the stands I think they're about 500, 500 high. Uh, but yeah, you can pick them up. That's SMP boards on Instagram. Um, and then, yeah, rhino, rhinobuild.com. Well, actually, it's rhino-build.com for the uh, mortar board stands, but SMP boards on Instagram for the boards. And uh, yeah, give Sam a message and uh, he'll get you hooked up. So yeah, I'm going to uh, go off now, pick up the materials. <coughs> We're using um, probably Bexhill Darks, um, the branch, the exact match for this section. By like all this brickwork over here is a West Hopefully, but this little low, lower wall is a newer bit of wall and some newer piers, and they got ash down in the frog, so. They're actually a, a, like a Bexhill dark. So we're going to shoot off now. We're going to go pick up all the bricks for the piers, um, the sand, the cement, and we're going to be drilling, um, drilling into the base. Obviously, I've got to get the rest of this mortar off um, that on this, what's on the wall there. But yeah, then we're going to be drilling down using um, the epoxy resin and putting some reinforced steel bars upright. Um, just to try and prevent this from happening again. Like I said, it's only one brick deep, two bricks wide. The piers really aren't really aren't ample enough for for uh, six foot fence panels between them. But that's that's all we're gonna do. We can uh, put some steel rods down through the middle, and hopefully that'll give it enough strength. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little while. Right, so basically with these profiles, they're all set up, string lines ready. 
And what I've done, as you see, I've put some like, starter bars as such in the wall. Um, these have been put in with a C-Mix Plus, which is basically a resin, an epoxy resin. Um, so we've drilled down um, a good, I don't know, about eight inches into the brickwork. <coughs> and then clean the holes out and then filled the holes up with the with the resin and then put the starter bar down into it um, and that's all, all gone off nicely now has been it's been cured leave it a, a good hour or so but it is a fast fast curing fast curing chemical mortar for light and medium loads so yeah fast curing it says now 40 minutes so we've given it a good hour hour and a half and uh, yeah, I'm gonna knock up some muck now and and uh, start laying. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little while. All right, so I've just cleared up and. Uh, here's almost up all three of them there's i think there's 20 courses and a brick on edge so we're not a million mile away i think there's three more on there and then a brick on edge tomorrow and it's a good clear up and uh that's another one done in and out um so yeah all good i'll put some pictures on and uh all jointed up with bucket handle with a dinger brushed off using the uh the old horsehair brush if now brushing off if you haven't got one of these i suggest you get on that way around bontal.co.uk and uh, get yourself one this is the i think it's the 13 inch or 11 and a half inch horsehair it's best thing for brushing off brickwork it leaves you no no brush marks um so yeah, if you want to start making your jointing look a lot better if you're already good at jointing but you use a normal soft hand brush and you get the odd lines here and there if you're good at jointing and you use the uh, horsehair brush brush it off straight away no lines in your muck um, so it leaves your joints nice and tidy but uh, yeah other than that that's the day done I'll be back in the morning to carry on and, uh, get these pins up the height of ourselves and there's three more and then the brick on edge so uh, yeah have a good evening guys and catch up with you tomorrow yeah good morning i uh, i've actually made a start i forgot to get the old camera out but yeah we're uh, back on the piers i've took them up three more course this one i've actually uh Put the brick on edge on top i've just got to do the same with that one and the one at the end got a little bit of gardening to do because the uh the tree's right in the way we've got a brick on edge on there but there's that whole branch is plumb in the way so i'm gonna have to take that off um but yeah we've put three courses on and uh yeah, it's just got another 12 brick on edge to do, and it's a massive clear up. And that's me done here. And uh, next couple of days involves looking at quite a lot of jobs and pricing, um, getting estimates out. Um, obviously, a long weekend as well, bank holiday, so we can all enjoy that. And uh, as of Tuesday, we're going to be back at the new build. There's a uh, gable to do, like a jack wall gable between two pro the two properties. Um, and also I've got a driveway prep starting. I've got the machinery all going there and um, some lads going in there to dig it all out. And uh, basically dig out, muck away um, and get all the base stoned. And then uh, leave me there with a pile of sand. And then it means them have got paving and all that turn up on the Thursday morning. I can get in there from Thursday and uh, yeah, hopefully smash out a block paved drive. And then we'll get that one on the on the next video. But for now, I'm going to get six brick on edge on there, six brick on edge on that end one, and then have a massive tidy up here. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I've laid the tarpaulin all the way along. So, uh, 
it's a case of cleaning up the tools, having a good sweep up, giving the old water brush off. And uh, these jobs are good. And so um, I'll upload some pictures once these piers are complete. But that's it from me until I get back to the new build, which will be Tuesday now. So enjoy your long weekend. Have a little dance around the old uh, Maypole on Monday and uh, wrap it up in ribbon. And uh, yeah, enjoy guys. Keep safe, take care.